Okay, so I've finished all my petals and I've also finished my 10 larger petals as well and they're all there drying up on some spoons now that I've run out of space on my makeshift mould. And what I want to get onto now is the centre of the peony. Now the centre of the peony looks somewhat like this. This was the tutorial by Peggy Portion in one of her flower books. Looking closer at her actual peony, these are a little pointy and I want to get a really realistic look. So I like the idea of these and the shade, but I'm actually going to change how I do this. So, what do you want to do? Make a hook, I don't know if you can see this, but you want to make a tiny little hook in a 20 gauge wire, or 22 will be fine. We're going to make five for the centre. I've dyed a little bit of gum paste, a very, very pale green. Um, this is going to be dusted also, so it doesn't really matter, it's just we're halfway there now that we've already dyed it. I only want a small ball, the centre of these aren't huge. I'm just going to roll this into a little ball and then take the top and make a slight cone. Not too pointy because we're going to manipulate the top to get the effect so it looks just like the centre of a peony. Take my glue, tiny, tiny bit, and then we just want to insert the hook, twist, and then just gently pull the gun paste down and twist until we can pull off. Okay, got an image here on my phone. And they actually look like a little smushed petal. Kind of like the top of a sweet pea actually, how you'd make a little sweet pea. So I'm actually just going to do this with my fingers. I'm just going to go in, pull the top, make it we just twist it. In and out, make it really delicate and thin. And I'm going to do a few like this, but then point in different ways. It's actually, a lot more curly in the photo. slight little lines in so I'm going to actually use this sugar shaper soft I think this is the soft one yeah these are the the soft tools and I'm just going to make some little markings in here there's not really any rhyme or reason to the way I'm doing this I kind of just it's going in trying to make it look as natural as possible Got a cute little bird, just nice and fat for the centre. And this, I think this looks so much more like the centre of a peony than the other version. So um, I'm going to leave that to set in some styrofoam like this. Um, let's do another one. So this one about the same size. And actually, it doesn't really matter if. They're all various sizes, so some are a little smaller than the other because that really would just add to the effect of the flower and make them look more natural. So, yeah, try not to be too precious and keep everything exact because you want them to be as realistic as possible.
actually can kind of pinch and pull upwards as well. And that will help. Just be gentle when you do it, pin upwards because you might find you start pulling little pieces of your fondant off and then you're going to get really frayed edges which you don't really want. So, I think I'm happy with that. And then the next stage, we will leave these to set up overnight and then we will dust them. 